Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel, and this is a uh, quick video for SDR Sharp and RTL SDR V3 users. Now, very important to understand one thing. If you purchased a cheap $10 uh, RTL SDR, chances are it will not receive shortwave. Most of the cheap RTL SDRs are not capable of receiving below 25 megahertz. But there are modified versions, and one of them, a little higher end, even though it's still a cheap one, the RTL SDR version 3. And make sure you have a real one. There's a lot of fakes going on right now. If you have the RTL SDR version 3, you can receive shortwave as it goes down to about 500 kilohertz. To do so, because most of you will actually press the play button and notice that there's absolutely nothing on the shortwave bands. It's dead. That's because in order to receive shortwave with SDR Sharp on shortwave, um, you've got to just press the stop button, go into the gear item, make sure that you are using the RTL SDR USB and everything is set up right. Gear icon, Change the sampling mode from quadrature sampling to direct sampling Q branch. Once that is done in here, close. I think it crashed. So let's start it again. So go here, make sure that you go into uh, direct Q branch. Yeah, it did crash actually. And then press close and here if you start you will now have signals on the shortwave band you see it here so simply make sure that in the gear icon you select direct sampling Q branch and the options this will enable your receive of shortwave if you desire to go back into receiving signals in the VHF UHF range, then I suggest that you actually uh, put the options back to let me go back here to receive a signal on VHF. So if you want to receive a signal on VHF, stop. It's important you can't change the options if it's playing or if it's working. Gear, simply go back to quadrature sampling and press play. And here you go. Now you're receiving VHF, UHF signals on the RTL SDR V3. That's what you got to do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.